Diesel had been sent to the fittest yard to be checked. He had overheated after trying to rescue James earlier that afternoon. The other engines rounded at the sheds nearby, glaring at the black Diesel as he slept. It's a good thing he's going back to those grimy yards tomorrow. Having a Diesel near the station, it's disgraceful! Disgusting! Despicable! Spluttered the big engines. You three were just waiting for the chance to say it again, weren't you? Said Edward Smuggler. I don't think it's fair at all, intervened Duck. He did a great job back at Knapford arranging all of your trains. He didn't even bump the coaches, which is honestly surprising considering his usual... manners. I bet that if we had waited longer, he would have come up with a plan to trick us all. As if, Gordon. A plan to steal your express? Joked Edward. Perhaps even that. Edward rolled his eyes. He didn't even succeed in bringing me back to the station. Couldn't move a few inches without his motor spluttering into a black cloud of smoke. Oh, please, you've heard him. He was just excited to help. And besides... Began Duck, looking at Gordon. High spirits might happen to any engine. Gordon's face blushed. The, the, the point is, he will be gone by tomorrow. Period. Good night. Uh, good night. Oh, good night. Duck and Edward remained alone. You know, Duck, as bad as Diesel's track record is, I know everyone will see the good in him very soon. Smiled Edward. I hope so, Edward. You've seen what he can do despite his apparent deviousness. Well, good night, Duck. <sighs> night, Edward. The engines puffed further back into the sheds and went to sleep. When Duck woke up the next morning, most of the engines had already left. The first thing he saw was a sad diesel rattling back towards the yards. He couldn't help but feel sorry for the poor engine. At least I have most of my work to do there. I'll have the chance to cheer him up. When Diesel arrived at the yard, he was most surprised. What is all this chaos? Since Diesel left, the yard had become a mess of misplaced and scattered trucks and coaches. I've been missing a few days. How did this even happen? Diesel wondered as he looked around. But judging by how Thomas delivered his trucks, I'm not surprised. Diesel had to spend all day tidying up the yard. Of course, it wouldn't have been long before the trucks caused trouble, but he had made a plan. To finish the cleanup, he had to move a long line of trucks to the other side of the yard. He could already hear the trucks giggling. Oh, you won't trick me this time. I'll trick you, grinned Diesel, as he ran to fetch a couple of vans. He then coupled them up to the train facing the opposite direction. Now for the plan, whispered Diesel. Without making much noise, he slowly rolled forward away from the trucks. They'll never see this coming. In no time, he got behind the train. Now for the push! Diesel suddenly sped up and bumped the trucks, pushing them forward. 
they didn't have time to react to put on their brakes. Ha <laughs> I got you lot! The truck simply grumbled and let Diesel get away with it. They didn't show it, but they were quite impressed by his ploy. They soon reached the empty siding. Edward was nearby, taking on water. Well, bless me. It's the first time I don't hear screeching brakes, Diesel. How do you manage with the trucks? Let's just say I had a little plan to catch him off guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it worked. <laughs> Chuckled Edward. <laughs> Indeed. Anyways, great job with the yard so far. It looked like a wreckage before you came. But Edward was cut short by his crew. Tank is full. Let's head out. Oh, sorry, Diesel. I gotta go now. Uh, take care. Thank you, Edward. Bye. The engines tooted each other goodbye, and Diesel went off to shunt more trucks. Unbeknownst to the engines, however, the trucks were growing crosser and crosser. They weren't crossed towards just Diesel, but every engine that set wheel in the yard. A few days later, Diesel was shunting the goods train for Duck to take. Come on, you grimy trucks, move! He lined them up in the siding near the station, just in time for Duck to puff down to his train. Thank you for arranging this lot for me, Diesel. It's nothing, just regular work. Duck whistled goodbye and began to trundle off while Diesel went shunting nearby. As the train rolled, Diesel could hear the trucks laughing. What are those rascals up to now? Diesel watched as Duck began to climb the bridge's slope. Everything was well until... The back of the train had broke away. Diesel couldn't help but gasp. Hear the guard's whistle coming from behind. It was Edward leaving the station with a passenger train. Edward, look out! Shouted Diesel as he sprinted towards the points. Oh, this will hurt. Oh my goodness! Diesel, are you alright? Oh. Mumbled Diesel. Soon Duck made it back to the scene. Is everyone alright? Well, yes, thanks to Diesel here. What happened? Your tail broke loose and began to roll down the steep. Oh, I can't believe it. Hold tight, I'm gonna fetch the cranes. We'll have you up again in no time. Thank you, replied Diesel feebly. Soon Duck came back with the breakdown train, while Edward backed down towards the platform. Soon enough, the line was clear, and Diesel was back on the rails. How are you feeling, Diesel? I'm alright. I'm sure the workmen will be happy to be mending me again. They definitely will, boomed the fat controller. Oh, hello, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'll go away at once. Go where exactly? Away from the railway again. Diesel, today you stopped a nasty accident from happening, where a lot of people could have been injured. Without you, there wouldn't have been another barber shop to stop these trucks. I have explained the situation to the passengers, and they all understood and asked me to thank you. And don't get me wrong, you did a great job back in Nafford in here, cleaning up the yards. The VAC controller paused for a second. In other words, you're not going anywhere, Diesel. If anything, I'm proud to have you on my railway. Diesel was happily baffled. Uh, uh, th th thank you so much, sir. Doc shall take you to the works to be mended. I hope to have you back soon. On it, sir. Duck coupled up to Diesel, and they set off on their way. What did I tell you? 
I knew we had noticed your hard work. Now enjoy your rest at the works. We can't wait to have you back. Thank you, Doc. That means a lot. Don't mention it. You deserve it. Both engines smiled as Diesel had finally proven his worth. But here's a little cheer, and a lot of people like it. Goes like this: Ratchet, batshit, dirty old twat, sixty-nine assholes tied in a knot. Hooray!